The big news this week is that Jordan Peterson showed up on the Joe Rogan podcast and said some positive things about the Bible. And evangelicalism, like a bunch of trained animals, stood at their feet and applauded this. Man, he is he's on our side, on the Bible. This is great and wonderful. Truth be told, it's not. It would be good, and it would be nice if he endorsed the Bible as a Bible-believing Christian. But he didn't, because he's not. Jordan Peterson is a practicer of mystery religion. And we're going to talk to you about that for the next few minutes. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. I want to say that this uh, this video is going to be over your head if you have not seen the Third Adam documentary. So I want you to go to our channel and watch these. Uh, this is Third Adam 1, Third Adam 2 right there, Third Adam 3, and then I did an extended version of Third Adam 3, Third Adam 3X right there on our channel. You guys can go watch those. And uh, we, we lay out our case very clearly about mystery religion and how it pretends to be Bible-believing Christianity. Now, here's the deal. Is Jordan Peterson a Christian? The answer to that question is no. Jordan Peterson is a Gnostic. He is somebody who believes in mystery religion. Matter of fact, I would say he's more of a Jungian Gnostic mystic, something along the lines of that. Although it's you know his ideas evolve over time, and um, he's becoming more and more friendly to the Bible as time goes on. But the way he interprets it is so mystical that it is dangerous and scary. So I want you guys to understand that Carl Jung was an American psychologist. A lot of people call him the father of modern psychiatry and stuff like that. Uh, but Jung was a just completely heretical guy. He believed in the uh, the Abraxas, and he actually believed that uh, in in the Sophia, which is uh, which is a female creator of the world. They they he believed that the Trinity had a woman in it. Uh, there was the Abraxas, and then there was the Sophia, and then there was Christ, and uh, which is typical mystery religion stuff. Um, he even talks about the Pleroma. And uh, Jordan Peterson incorporates these ideas into his lectures, which I'm, I'm very familiar with uh, Peterson's lectures, uh, his talk about embracing the shadow of Peter Pan. Um, he even, during this podcast that he was on, I listened to him, and he talked about how uh, even in comedy you got you got jokes that are t so conservative, they're not funny, and then you get stuff out there that's so wildly uh, offensive that uh, you, all you do is just make everybody mad. He said, you need to find that place in between. And basically that's like a merging of a duality. Uh, uh, a lot of the New Agers would talk about the yin and the yang and how there's this little space in between the yin and the yang where all that overlaps, and that's called the pleroma. Um, and that is, that's a Gnostic term. That is really not even Bible Christianity. And Peterson talks about for comedy to be uh, be funny, you've got to be right on that edge of, of edginess and offensiveness, but not too far. You've got to find that balance. He even talks about a time he went to a Ramones concert. There's order, there's chaos. And he says he said, good music will put you right on that border in between order and chaos guys that is that's that's the pleroma that's the yin and the yang merging that that is uh, i guess the buddhists would call that nirvana uh, that is the merging of duality that is not bible christianity that is that is mystical mystery religion and jordan peterson is preaching this stuff matter of fact there was a time in this, uh, and there's there's video clips of it all over uh, all over YouTube and stuff like that, where he talks about why the Joker was such a good movie, and the, the Joker, of course, I, I, I think it won an Oscar, but it was like the the movie of 2020, and uh, he says that the reason that it was so uh, so good is that Joaquin Phoenix, the main actor, is a man who knows how to embrace his femininity. That was actually said in this podcast at around the hour and 20 mark. He was a man who is totally masculine but knows how to embrace his femininity. That's a duality that, that he's talking about. He's talking about merging the dualities, becoming both. That is this androgynous mystery religion. That's why the Baphomet, if you ever go look at a picture of a Baphomet, it, it, has, it has masculine and feminine features. Uh, go look up something called the Rebus. The Rebus is a creature that the occult used to uh, worship that had the head of a man and head of a woman on it. Uh, that The infinity symbol is the merge of that duality. This man is speaking the occult, and evangelical Christians are applauding this as if it was Bible Christianity. This is dangerous stuff. Now, this is the point where I'm going to tell you that 
uh, this is over your head, and you may think I'm I'm talking nonsense. I'm not. Uh, if you haven't seen Third Time Three X, go watch that movie. They even talk about how Prince. Uh, I guess the artist formerly known as Prince or the artist or whatever, he lived up in Minnesota, died a few years ago, uh, how that he was that way. He was so captivating because he was a man who embraced his femininity. They even talked about Mick Jagger was a guy just like that. He was a man who embraced his femininity. And that was what's, what was so captivating about these men. That is the talk of mystery religion. That is a cultic language. Another thing that they talked about uh, here at about the two-hour mark is that Peterson uh, talked about how that him and his wife did kundalini yoga every day. Partial substitutes for it or yeah. reasonable substitute. I do kundalini yoga in the morning. Oh, do you? With Okay, and so he goes on for a long time and speaks about uh, the kundalini, the chakras aligning, uh, and he goes through and explains the, the tree of life. And, uh, I mean, just, just type this in. Um, Kabbalah tree of life. Okay. Just look at the images of this. He goes on to describe this concept right here uh, almost perfectly and explains, I mean, this is, this is metaphysical stuff. Uh, this is the language of the occult. And that's, that's what Peterson starts getting into how that, you know, if you're, if you're aligned properly, then your, your health will be good. Then you're also, he goes through and explains that this is what integrity is. And, uh, guys, this is, this is mystery religion. What Peterson's gets into. Okay. Now here's, Here's the verse in the Bible I want you guys to get. Uh, is in First uh, Titus one, it goes through and talks about how the, these these preachers that are going to be ordained as elders in the in the ministry of bishops they must be they must hold fast the faithful word as he hath been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers and talk about for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially they of the circumcision whose mouths must be stopped who subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake it even even says here, uh, one of them, even a prophet of their own, the Cretans are always liars, evil bellies, uh, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound of the faith. Notice, this is what the Bible says, okay? The Bible speaks of mystery religion here in this passage. Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Do you see this? There is a mystery religion of Jewish fables is what it calls. Now, today we don't call it that. We, we call it the Kabbalah. And, uh, and this, this is mystery religion. Paul is warning Titus, don't get wrapped up in this mystery esoteric religion because it will turn you from the truth. And that is exactly what Jordan Peterson speaks of here in this interview. Now, there are other times that uh, he goes through and talks about Jack and the Beanstalk being some esoteric sh shamanic uh, tale. Uh, he even goes through and talks about how uh, C.S. Lewis and J.R. Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings, they, that that whole deal is like an esoteric fable. Uh, there's there's just so much there. But one of the scariest things, and I won't go through it here, Just it, it was about at the 3 hour, 37 minute mark, uh, is that he goes through and explains his views of the Bible, and he, he goes through and explains it mystically as far as what the cross of Calvary meant, how that it was the ultimate tragedy and how that it was the uh, it was embracing the darkness and how that the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ uh, was the ultimate tale of being being you know uh, of being rejected but coming out of it a better person and just just bizarre dangerously heretical things that he's saying here. And guys, I want to tell you and just make this video, let you know uh, what Jordan Peterson is practicing, what he is promoting is mystery religion. This is not Bible Christianity. This is like Jordan Peterson is not, he's not promoting the Bible. He's subverting people away from it. This is philosophy and vain deceit, spoiling people away. And uh, if you want to, you know, go look at this chapter, uh, Titus chapter 1, the, the Jewish fables that turn men from the truth, that's, that's what Jordan Peterson is teaching. He is a Jungian Gnostic. Uh, he is a practicer of mystery religion. I am praying he gets saved and comes to the, to the knowledge of the truth, uh, but what he is promoting is not a win for Christianity. So many evangelical publications are like saying, you know, hey, this is great. He endorsed the Bible on the biggest podcast in the world. Yay! Well, Christianity is not validated by its acceptance or rejections by celebrities, especially somebody as famous and a cultural phenomenon as Jordan Peterson. This is mystery religion. This is Kabbalistic mystery 
like Jungian mysticism. This is like there's so many adjectives, so many things that I could call it because it's always changing and taking different forms. And like I said, guys, our Third Adam documentaries will help you to understand this. Please go check those out. They are available uh, now on our page and uh, right here on the top. We, we make those available for everybody so that you guys can understand this end times occultic subversion of the local church. Jordan Peterson is not a friend of the Bible. Jordan Peterson is not on our side. Jordan Peterson is a man who is dangerously and, and very just almost, almost spookily subverting people away from the truth of the Word of God. And we love you, friend. We just want to tell you the truth about all that. I like the guy. I think he's interesting. I think he's interesting to talk to. I think he's a smart guy. Uh, but when he gets to the Bible, he is dreadfully wrong. It's because he reads all that Jungian stuff into it. That is not... that. Listen, do not, please, I, I beg you, do not go to Jordan Peterson for Bible commentary. His stuff on Exodus is horrible. I mean, like everything he reads into it is is filtered through the lens of the teachings of Carl Jung, and that's how he see he sees the Bible through that. That's how he's seeing it, which is dangerous. That is that is what the Bible calls subversion. Okay, the dangerous presuppositions of union union mystery religion. Reading that into the scriptures, that's eisegesis. It's subversion. Uh, it is theological danger. Is what it is. Run for your life, and we love you enough to tell you that. Hey guys, if you're new, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button and we will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good day. We love you all.